there's some fungal networks right here. Look at that. Wow. That's the big internet. So I started looking at uh, below ground ecosystems and discovered that there's this internet of mycorrhizal fungi. We went on to map what this fungal highway or network looked like underground and we found that the most highly connected trees were the biggest, oldest trees. We even went on to find out that they can recognize which seedlings are their own, their, their kin. So this led us to start calling them mother trees because of all the things that they do in the forest. And the idea of that is try to project using this experiment um, how retention of old trees will become more important as climate stresses our forests. And we're actually finding in our early results that um, in the seedlings that we've planted under the forest that the more old trees that we retain in harsher climates, the better off the seedlings are doing. You know, as carbon gets stored in the soil from the tree into the fungi and the bacteria and they decompose the forest floor, that carbon eventually moves deeper and deeper into the, into the soil. If all that carbon in the soil also went into the atmosphere, climate change would speed up really, really fast. And so forest practices really need to strive to protect that. There's a recognition that clear cutting isn't, you know, the best thing everywhere. Foresters know this. So we have many industrial partners who are looking at alternatives. They want to know how to do a better job. You know, as climate change is really affecting more and more people and we're recognizing that we've got to do something now, um, that I think that this is going to be adopted at a much faster rate in, in the very near future. We're coming, it's coming, the time is now, and people are ready for it. It tastes like it's, you know, quite good.